and we're gonna have story time today and we're gonna take a field trip. Have you ever taken a field trip? Well this one you're gonna have to use your imagination because we can only go on the computer but you can go in your imagination and we are going to read a book about Clifford the Big Red Dog, one of my favorite book characters of all time. And this says Clifford the Big Red Dog Picking Apples and Pumpkins by Liz Mills. I love Clifford. Today is our field trip day, said Miss Carrington. We will visit Farmer Brown's Apple Farm. I love field trips, said Charlie. Clifford would love to visit a farm, said Emily Elizabeth. Emily Elizabeth raised her hand. Miss Carrington, she asked, can Clifford come too? I don't see why not, replied Miss Carrington. Woof, barked Clifford. Do you see him outside the window of the school? Hooray, said Emily Elizabeth. Let's go, shouted the class. Welcome to my farm, said Farmer Brown. Shall we start with a hayride? Yes, shouted the whole class. They ran to the hay wagon. I love hay rides, said Jetta. I've never been on one before, said Charlie. It's lots of fun, said Emily Elizabeth. Farmer Brown turned the key to start the tractor's engine. Nothing happened. Farmer Brown turned the key again. Still, the tractor would not start. I'm sorry, kids, said Farmer Brown. My tractor is broken and it can't pull the wagon. Oh. Emily Elizabeth had an idea. Clifford can pull the hay wagon, she said. Woof, Bart Clifford. That means he agreed with her. Farmer Brown hooked Clifford up to the hay wagon. It was not too heavy for the big red dog. Clifford pulled the wagon all around the farm. Jetta waved to the cows. Baz waved to the pigs. Emily Elizabeth waved to the ducks. This is fun, said Charlie. Can you wave to all the farm animals? Look at Farmer Brown. He's riding on Clifford's back like a horse. That's so funny. Clifford stopped beside some apple trees. May we pick apples? Asked Emily Elizabeth. Yes, you may, replied Farmer Brown. Have you ever had an apple? Can you try your own apple? They're really good and they're good for you. Back to the story. Emily, Elizabeth, and Jetta climbed onto Clifford's back. They picked apples. Yum, said Jetta. Is yours yummy? Yeah? Clifford pulled the hay wagon back to the barn. The kids climbed out. Thank you, Clifford, said Farmer Brown. You saved the hayride. Look at that. Have you ever been licked by a dog or a cat and it tickles? Can you imagine? That's funny. Now it's time for arts and crafts, said Miss Carrington. We're going to make hand turkeys. Everyone ran to the picnic table and on the table were cups of apple cider. Apple cider is really yummy too. The kids traced the outlines of their hands on paper. Miss Carrington helped cut out the outlines. The kids decorated them to look like turkeys. Would you like to make a paw turkey? asked Emily Elizabeth. Woof, barked Clifford. Emily Elizabeth traced his paw on a big piece of paper. She cut it out and colored it red. Perfect, she said. If I tried that with my kitty, I don't think she'd like it much. <laughs> then it was time to leave. Thank you for a great day, Miss Carrington said to Farmer Brown. Thank you, Farmer Brown, said the class. You're welcome, replied Farmer Brown. Clifford, you can come work in my orchard anytime. On the bus, Miss Carrington asked, Class, what are you thankful for? Charlie said, I'm thankful for the hayride. Jetta said, I'm thankful for the yummy apples. I'm thankful for Clifford, said Emily Elizabeth. Woof, barked Clifford. What are you thankful for? Those are good things to be thankful for. There's some questions in the back of the book. Who wanted Clifford to come along on the field trip? Was it A, Jetta, B, Emily Elizabeth, or C, Charlie? That's right, it was Emily Elizabeth. 
but I think the whole class wanted him to come, so you're probably right if you answered any of those. The second question is a little harder. How did Clifford help Farmer Brown? Hmm. Did he eat all the apples? Did he take a nap? Or did he pull the hay wagon? That's right, he pulled the hay wagon. So much fun. Now, I think we should make hand turkeys too, just like the kids did on the field trip with Clifford. It's really easy. Get a piece of paper and a crayon or a pencil. I'm using a marker. And you trace your hand on a piece of paper. Then, take your time. It might take you longer than me because I've done this a lot. You're just learning. So you take your hand turkey and you give it an eye and a smile and you can color in the feathers. You can cut out pieces of paper to make your own feathers. You can use any color you want. I just use brown because that's what real turkeys look like. And you can color them in if you don't want to cut out feathers. So no matter how you make your hand turkey, it's the right way. And then you too can wave. Wave with your hand turkey. I hope you all had fun on our virtual field trip. And I hope you have fun making your hand turkeys. And I hope you'll read lots more books about Clifford the Big Red Dog, because they're really great. Bye. Thanks for coming to my story time. See you next time.